Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. Today is the day that I'm going to stain and assemble this guy. And i got to say I'm looking forward to it. I want to make sure that I pick the right stain so that the brass still has a nice contrast. Some of the changes that I have done off camera will be the main deck. This will be the portion of the frame that's in between the sides, of course. And with the elevation wedge is kind of grooved in there so that doesn't go off center but this will be how we tip the cannon forward change the elevation i'm going to try three different stains i'm going to try a maple a natural and a walnut this is mahogany mahogany turns red when you go natural on it at least that's my experience so i want to see what the three stains look like i will try it on a piece of this guy over here come back here in a second show you See if your thought on the color is the same as mine. Let's do it. much of a difference there. I am not sure which one of these I'm going to go with. I want the dark, but I don't think the dark is dark enough. The mahogany is kind of kicking it out. It's not soaking in like it would soak in on a piece of pine, that's for sure. a whole lot better after you wipe it that's for sure natural in the middle is well natural <laughs> and let's see what this one looks like not too red there you go let's go with that one
with a little off-camera tarnish remover and some metal polish, I think we are just about ready to start putting this thing together. Let's take a look at some of the components. I would say out of all the fabrication, these little guys right here, these eyelets were probably the most tedious. But then again, the trunnion straps were no picnic either. The barrel was a good exercise in coordination and planning. Some long eye bolts for the rear. These are the trunnion lock bars right here in the center. These are the rods that pull the frames together. I cheated and I used a cup hook on this one and I think that you know for where it's going it's going to be fine. This is the trunnion itself. The wheels came out real nice. I'm very pleased with the way they look. And all the components. I like the way the the dark, I think it was called ebony espresso, excuse me, espresso, like the coffee. That's what it's called. This is the wedge. And yes, I'm wearing blue nitrile gloves because I don't want the oil from my fingers touching these brass parts. This is the elevation wedge. And that's where that little cup hook is going to go, right there in the back. So no better time than the present to put this thing together. Let's get this camera on a tripod and see if all this work was worth it. I think it will be. I'm going to start the assembly here by installing the small rope or chain loop on the front wall. This is the wall where the cannon would rest if it tilted all the way forward. And two more identical components are going to be installed on the sides of the cannon. Flush hardware on the inside. These are exactly the same as the long ones. They're just a little shorter. These are the tie rods that go completely from one side of the cannon through the deck, through the front wall, and out the other side of the cannon. Floor goes on first, then the front, and here comes the other side. I am not going to tighten anything down all the way at this point until everything is installed and everything lines up. The rear rope hooks are going to go in through the washers, through the bottom axle. Now here comes the axle plates. And two more nuts on the bottom as well. These are the wedge receivers for the trunnion straps. Go all the way through the front frame, through the bottom plate, and two more nuts to secure the front axle. These are the little hooks that hold the trunnion strap and allow it to act like a hinge. Flush hardware on the bottom. And the only thing critical about that is that everything is in line. I really like the contrast of the brass against the dark wood. Once everything's in and lined up, snug everything down. Time to put the wheels on. Collars go in, pins go through the collars, the wheels are secure. Both sides. Little eyelet on the elevation wedge. As you drive this back and forth in the carriage, it does hit the back of the barrel and raise and lower the barrel accordingly. Wedge is installed to secure the trunnion straps. We're done. Well, for now, that's going to have to do it, guys. And for all of you Canon experts out there, I'm just going to have to beg your forgiveness. I know that these trunnion locks do not go to the rope cleat on the side. But for sake of my model... I like the way it looks, so I'm just going to leave it that way. And yeah, I might downsize the chain. and might put another cleat in there or whatever. Uh, who knows? I might get abducted by aliens too, but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. Elevation wedge in the back as you drive it in. Changes the elevation of the gun. All five of the cleats are identical. That is a cappuccino stain over mahogany. Kind of pleased with the way it looks. Walnut would have been better. I think I would have enjoyed making it out of walnut better. I do have a slab, but I was going to save that for another project. And I do not want the sweat from my fingers translating to tarnish spots showing up on all the brass. 
the brass was polished before final assembly and now it's going to go right into a glass box And I hate to break all your hearts as well. I am not going to fire this. This is not a functional model. This is a desk model. Uh, could it be turned into a functional model? Yes, easily. But the trunnion pin goes through the barrel. So in order to turn this into a functional model, it would have to be sleeved across that trunnion pin. And uh, that would hold the trunnion pin in as well. So for what I'm going to use it for, it is just fine exactly how it is. I couldn't be happier with the final result. For everyone that hung in there, left me comments, left me technical data, directed me towards websites and or historical documents that I could review. Thank you very much for your input. I do appreciate it. Got a couple of projects coming up. The next model in line is the Stort D10 Twin Vertical Steam Engine, and I am really looking forward to that. That is long overdue to be kicked off. So Steve Bright sent me that, and I really do appreciate the gift. It was an awesome present, and we're going to build it and show you how it all works. For now, that's it. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are well and happy and safe. All of the above me. I am Joel Pye here at Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. I'm out. Oh yeah, one final note guys, for those of you that did watch this build, this is not a kit. Every piece on here, I designed it, I documented it, I machined it. This is a one of a kind, this is an original. I like it. Thanks for watching.